is dropped again by Aiden Ryan. Down to John Power. Power is getting a lot of the ball so far, and Conor O'Donnell will really have to tighten up his marking on him. On towards Richie Power. It's all Kilkenny just now. Breaks inside towards Liam Fennel, who's discarded the helmet. Fair shot that the referee decides. Nicely flipped away, brilliantly done, in fact, by Conal Bonner. And it ends up being a sideline ball. That was great defensive play. I think it was Conal Bonner. And John Power isn't too pleased about that challenge by Aidan Ryan. And the referee speaking to an incensed uh, John Power, who has injured his hand, and Dr. Bill Cuddy who was attending to the injured player, and the referee decides that uh, Power was taking the ball into his own hands. Well, a chance here for the Kenny again, Liam Fenley gathers the ball, and uh, it was a bit scrappy kind of play, he turns inside Noel Sheehy very well, tries to get out of the room, take a shot, but I think he loses control just in a vital second, Conor Bonner shoulders him very fairly, good decision by the referee there, and... Uh, This is what happened then, yep. Jimmy, when Aidan Ryan and John Parr went over there and he collided. I think it was a complete accident in terms of Aidan Ryan went ball-headed for the ball as he's quite entitled to do his shoulder there with John Parr fairly and uh, unfortunately for himself he ended up against the wire, but I don't think there's anything Aidan Ryan to do about it. I think when John Parr looks back on the video of this, although he's picked up a very nasty hand injury, he'll realise it was an accident. It's pretty dangerous there, there near the wire and as you can see he got quite a bad gash and that's unfortunate, he's been playing very well and uh, in fairness to Aidan Ryan, I don't think it was anything dirty in that tackle at all. So it's going to be a sideline ball, and Richie Parr just getting ready to take the cut. Not a good one. Christy Hackenau advancing once again against Bobby Ryan. Bobby now settling to his task. Having to kick the ball away, knowing that he might well have been hooked by Christy. between the teams as Eddie O'Connor for Kilkenny's side who are in front Declan Ryan knocked down by Michael Feely Michael Carr I should say Christy Heffernan cross towards Eamon Morrissey's wing and again it's Noel Sheehy the man of the match in Tipperary semi-final against Galway up towards Nicky English we haven't seen much of Nicky English we've seen very little of Paul McDonald so far Bill Hennessy to the delight of the Kilkenny fans, the long clearance. Colin Bonner on a press from DJ Carey. Carey reading inside, and his favourite left hand side, and he's going to the for another point. Three points of the match now for DJ Carey, that's the first from play, and Kilkenny now lead by two. Broken play across the field DJ Carey. One thing he's got, he's got tremendous pace. He races away from Colin Bonner there very well and strikes a lovely point off his left hand. One thing about him, he can score right or hand and he's very, very accurate. Eddie O'Connor, one of the finds of the season for Kilkenny. The strange thing is that he just came in as a sub. He's been pushed and he wins the free. Came in as a sub against Wexford and many people were wondering why he wasn't on from the beginning. He reminds me a lot of Van Lark and Wave plays are very, very wholehearted and uh, as you say, he's been the find of the season and a tremendous inspiration the way he got us the ball and forced out of defence. Footballer and hurler indeed, Eddie O'Connor, who was on the Glenmore team beaten in the football final in Wexford last year by Eamon Morrissey's Muckley. Not the best free he's ever taken. Another mighty puck out by Ken Hogan. Dropping into the heart of the Kilkenny half-back line. Eddie O'Connor racing across against Pat Fox. He did well, lovely stick work. Good wrist action and timing as well to dispossess a sharpshooter from Tipperary. Michael Cleary, on a skippy to his friends. Cross towards John Lally. Brilliantly stopped again by Liam Welch. Well, this was a feature of their game against Tantrum. But the Kenny backs really do know how to mark tightly as Bobby Ryan avails of the chance and puts it over the bar to cut back the leeway and there's just a sol solitary point now separating the teams. 16 minutes in to the first half. Well, you 
here. De Declan Ryan is under pressure. He spots Bobby Ryan loose. Christy Hampton is playing very, very deep. He's leaving a lot of room for Bobby Ryan. And he would want to get back in the space. A very good score for Tipperary. But... Oh. Ken Hogan, just watching there as Noel Sheehy and Liam Fennelly get involved in a tangle. And the referee is going to call Noel Sheehy across here and lay down the law, but you can't do that. He was obviously very angry about something that happened just immediately before that. This is what happened, Jimmy. Yeah, Liam Finney just jumps over the ball and Noel Sheehy runs in quite stupidly and man handles him up against the barrier and it's totally uncalled for. Again, Liam Finney is quite entitled to go after a loose ball and Ken Hogan left it run wide. Referee books him quite rightly. There's been a lot of sun around lately. Donald Bonner. Richie Power whipping it in again towards Liam Fennelly. Lee McCarthy taking it up to Lightfully, turning, striking and holding over the bar for his first point of the match. And now the entire Kilkenny full forward line has scored from play. A very good return indeed, causing their problems against the Tipperary backs. Kenny are certainly fired up for this game. Great pick up here again by um, Liam McCarthy. He scores an excellent point under pressure. And all the Kilkenny forwards are getting on the act now. They look very sharp indeed. We mentioned that the Kilkenny full forward line has all scored from play. By comparison, Tip with their full forward line yet to register a score between them. They have the free, however, as Colin Bonner was held up. I'll tell you that Cormac was uh, promising his nephew across in Edmonton, Devon Bonner, that he would get at least one score in this match. Michael Cleary, the free taker. Again, no return from it. I think it's sig significant here so far that uh, Cormac Bonner hasn't been in the game that much and the tip really haven't been getting the ball into him as he likes. And uh, in all the games that we've seen, it's been such a big factor that uh, they'll be looking at him trying to get involved in the game more, but I'm just wondering how much he's hampered by his injury. The game plan certainly is coming unstuck against a very eager Kilkenny team. Whipped up, of course, by the very fact that they're rank outsiders. John Power recovered from the hand injury. Against three Tipperary men, one of them Bobby Ryan, still unable to make much headway. Ferocious play in there, very, very committed, but that's what you expect, of course, in the fray of an All-Ireland final. So Richie Power then waiting. And it'll be DJ Carey who'll go across to take the free. Welch in the background there. So Holly watches as DJ prepares with great care to take this free. The side ahead by two points, six points to four. Really loved in brilliantly. Stopped by Ken Hogan. Nice piece of goalkeeping. Under pressure. Eddie O'Connor. That was nicely judged by Ken Hogan. Meanwhile, it's Liam McCarthy hoping to bring the cup of the same name back to Northside for the first time since 1983 when they put victories together against Cork in 82 and 83. Meanwhile, at the other end, John Henderson having a real easy time so far because the ball really isn't getting into Cormac Bonner. Paul Delaney. Eddie O'Connor touching it down, waiting for it. DJ Carey. Richie Power himself up with a shot and he's found the range and he's put it over the bar a really great point from the middle of the field by Richie Power of Carrick Shock a goal separating them now seven points to four great play here again by Kilkenny a very sharp work by DJ Carey knocks the ball up and gives a very good pass out to uh, Richie Power Kilkenny are certainly top of the middle of the field and they wouldn't be surprised if Tip switched on the midfield very soon you just wonder whether Tip have been feeling the pressure that's been upon them in the last couple of weeks with just everybody, but everybody expected them to win. Yes, well, and certainly in this case, Kilkenny are very, very sharp. Richie Power and Michael Field are on top of the middle of the field, and uh, Tip, I'd say, be looking into that situation very fast, sure. They're simply not getting any ball into their full forward in at all. Lahi, in fact, has now drifted back just in front. There he is now making the catch in front of the half-back line. And it'll be interesting to see how Liam Welch will play and whether we'll opt to play him as you would a midfielder or as a tight-marking 
wing back on wing forward. And we've noted the switch, in fact, that even Ryan may well have gone forward. We'll just wait to see that develop again very shortly as Pat Fox waits inside. Michael Cleary with the free, one they need to keep them nicely in touch, and he obliges with his third point of his first half. A first half which is now 24 and a half minutes old. So the switch has been made. Lahi has definitely gone back into midfield on Richie Parr. Declan Carr. This is Ali. Meanwhile, Christy Heppen with his second magnificent catch in the first half. Didn't make too much headway the first time. Out to Richie Parr. Can he get another score? Closed down by Bobby Ryan, who overcommitted himself. It reaches Eamon Morrissey, but the referee had spotted the foul. Jersey tug, and it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny. And everything in this first half going very, very nicely for them. So once again, DJ Carey comes out to take the free. Scored 1-1 against Tipperary in last year's under-21 final. Kilkenny's fifth win at that grade. Now he'd value a senior all Ireland medal this afternoon, and he's got another score. Deadly accurate from Freeze. Only one miss out of five attempts so far. Richie Parr towards Liam McCarthy, Paul Delaney, Christy Happenen once again steadying himself, lobbing it forward, Paul Delaney waiting expecting it to come his way, it didn't, which is Bobby Ryan instead, battling his heart out in the middle of the temporary defence but he's given it away this time to Richie Parr, inside towards Liam Fennelly getting some latitude, he's got the ball as well, now trying to create a chance, but he's overcarried, and it's going to be a free out. Tipperary were lucky because Liam Fennelly had set himself up nicely for a chance himself, but then when he got bottled up, he overcarried. He was trying to play it back to a colleague, and it ends up being a free out for Tipperary. Richie Paul is certainly a dominant figure in the match at seven feet. long journey, having an inspired spell for Kilkenny, and he's had to put it back into a pretty strong position. Christy Heffernan and breaks it on towards John Parr. Paul Delaney. Reading the game so well. Up towards Declan Ryan. He can really be a star in this match yet. But with this one, he's just dropped it to the left and he's put it wide and it becomes Tipperary's fifth wide in the first half. Kilkenny with six. Bobby Ryan has moved across left half back and a switch in the Tipperary half back line to mark. The danger man there is John Parr, and Connell Bonner is now in on Christy Heffernan. Christy's been winning a lot of ball in the air. This is Bobby Ryan. That's stopped by PJ Carey. Nice wrist action to Christy Heffernan. And there's a man free, and that's Richie Parr. Gets around easily. The challenge put in by John Lahey. But having steadied himself, he failed to find the target. And he realises that's one. That's left Tipperary off the hook. Interesting, Heaven the enter is causing havoc in the Tipperary halfback, and they just can't seem to handle his fight and his ball. And he's really fired up for today's game. And uh, if Christian keep going for the full seven minutes, it's going to be a major factor for Tipperary for Kilkenny, I think. Well, you may have heard his comment at the start of the programme. We're only here for one thing. Paul Delaney. Having difficulty uh, controlling it in the end. Kilkenny will turn up the sideline ball. Richie Parr, the clearances from the Tipperary defence. 